Good evening, good afternoon, whichever it is. Right, what it is, a short, shortish video on uh, fitting a remote switch to one of these um, Chinese heater controllers, the one with the triangular shaped pin. Uh, how to fit a remote switch. So you can turn it on with um, a GSM switch or a temperature switch or whatever you've got. Uh, right, first thing, got to get this cover off. This can be quite well stuck. You just get one of these little spudges, stick that under it, prise it off, and you've got four screws in each corner. You undo them. I've already took these out just for speed, just so I don't. You don't want to see somebody taking screws out. It's a bit pointless. And what you do, get a spudger, stick it in there, clip it. What you've got to do with these though is make sure, and if you can, you got to get it off square because there's little legs, little pins on the actual screw holes. If you get it off at an angle like that and twist it, you can snap them little legs in there. And you take out the main circuit board. That's got to come out straight as well. That can be a bit of a bugger to get out because it's uh, it's just forced in from the factory. They're not very well, very well made at all. But um, there you go. Take that out. And what you've got is your main circuit board. Don't touch the back. Some of these can be electrostatic, and if you touch the controller, there it can break and damage that. So try not to touch any of the back. What you've got to do then is get the center switch, which is your on-off button there. That's the up temperature, down temperature, self-explanatory. But it's that switch there. What you've got to do with that is you've got to solder. One wire on the top, it doesn't matter which one of them pins it is because them two are shorted together so it doesn't make any difference because they switch from top to bottom. Solder a wire onto one of those legs, doesn't matter which one, like I said, doesn't matter which, which one it is. On the top, one wire and one wire on the bottom there. And that then, you could use, say with um, a thermostatic switch, an on off switch. What these need is a pulse. I think it's two seconds press on, one, two, we'll turn it on. Then turn it off, it's got to be from four seconds onwards, one, two, three, four, however many, to turn it off. But what I've got, I use the GSM switch. You can set them, when you send a text, it can say text the relay, turn that switch on for two seconds. To turn it on then it will turn off again and that's it that starts that up then that starts working when you turn it off you've got to set the text message for four seconds onwards to turn it off so it's like send the text on signal one two three four that but that's in another that's in another video that's how to set up the uh the time in fact the website where i got the timer from uh, i think it was gsm UK slash dot net I think I'll have to get that and give you the details it tells you exactly how to set up the the, the pulse for the for the uh, heater signal but that that's that's up to you how you do that but then so you solder the wire onto the bottom wire onto the top which gives you your remote wire because the remote it comes with is like a little radio frequency it's, they're not very good half the time it don't work the one with this didn't work it's now in the bin, broken. Got rid of it, so there you go. I so, say, one wire there, one wire there. Can't go left to right, because it don't work, you'll just short it out. It's top to bottom on these. They're all the same, there's no difference on these. The board might be slightly different, but the middle, as long as it's the on-off switch, that's the one that matters. So, that's how it works. As I say, putting them back together is just a reversal of dismantling. These buttons, they, they'll fall out, but they, they're all the same. They're going anywhere, so it doesn't matter. So what you do then, put it back together. Like I say, it can be a bit of a crappy fit because they're not very good. They don't fit very well. They're just mass made. So it takes a bit of forcing to get them in. And what you have to do then is cut out a little slot for the wires to come through. So these ones I've just cut it off because I'm not using this anymore. I'm using a different design, but um, there you go. So 
that's that. And as soon as you say, what you do when you put this back on, you've got to go back on square as well again because of them legs. It can make it a nightmare if you don't get it square and it won't go back together. You'll end up throwing it at the wall and smashing it. There you go. That goes in. And what you do, put the four screws back in, put the cover back on, and there you go. That's it. Jobs are good, and you've got the wires will come out wherever you wherever you want them to come. Um, but that's it. That's how to fit a remote switch wire onto one of these cheap Chinese heater controllers. And uh, yeah, I'll be making some other videos. I think what I'll do is I'll make a video at some point on the actual GSM controller and the settings and that. And I'll leave links to the description in the description to their website. I mean, they've got all the instructions, all the manuals, everything you need is on their website. They're very good. They'll help you as much as they can. It's a small company. I've got two of them. I've had no problems with them. And uh, yeah, they're great. Anyway, if you like the video, subscribe, like, have a good day, and I will see you on the next video. Cheerio.